As you recall in earlier training videos, we learned how to enter in basic formulas, like when we want to get the totals for the month of January, February, and March. And let's go ahead and do it again because I want to show you something here that you have already seen. But when I hit the equals key, and I want to add up like the first cell to the next cell, the first cell reference is F7. So when I type in a letter, it brings up a list of functions all beginning with the letter F. If that annoys you, you can just go ahead and keep typing through and ignore it, and it disappears. Or if it really annoys you and you don't want to see it at all, you want to turn it off, alrighty, let's go ahead and hit the escape key and go backstage, click on File, and then scroll down to Options. And go to the Formulas category, and it's in the section Working with Formulas, right there, Formula Autocomplete. You can see in the pop-up, it's going to show a list of relevant functions and defined names. So if I uncheck it, it won't show those functions or any name cells or name ranges. In other words, cells or ranges that I gave it a name, which is covered in another training video. So for the sake of this training video as a demonstration, let's go ahead and click OK, and then type in equals F. I don't get a list of functions or named ranges or a named cell. Great. Let's go ahead and hit the Escape key. And then over here you see these green triangles. As you recall, when you go ahead and select a cell, that has it, it gives you a little warning over here, and you can see in the pop-up when you hover over it that this formula in the cell refers to a range that has additional numbers adjacent to it. So Excel's concerned that if I double click on it in its graphical selection here, you can see that we've got a number to the left of it, well also down below it, and it's concerned that we're missing that number. So let me hit the escape key. You can go ahead and click on the drop-down arrow and say we'll just go ahead and ignore it, or if you want to completely get rid of it altogether and not have to click ignore for every single one, then let's go backstage and click on File. And we'll scroll down to Options. Go to the Formulas category, and there it is in the Error Checking section. Enable Background Error Checking. Go ahead and uncheck that, click Okie Dokie, and they're all gone. And if you're like, okay, it's not relevant for here, but there's other cells where it's pertinent because I've got other numbers that I may miss out on and I want that error checking back. Okay, we'll go ahead and bring it back. Ooh, I'm getting dizzy. File, let's scroll down to Options. Hang in there with me, we're almost done. Click on Formulas and then go back to Enable Background Error Checking. And in addition to that, you can also change the colors. You don't have to go with green, you can go with the hot pink and click OK, and it's all back, except for the one that I ignored, but in hot pink. And then if you want to reset it all, so it even brings back the one that we ignored, you got the reset option. Oh my goodness, one more time. OK, File, I promise this is it. Options, Formulas, Error Checking, and Reset Ignored Errors. Click on it once, click OK, and it brings back everything. And the only one that it brought back was the one that we ignored. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.